Team USA Basketball, what in the heck is going on? For those of you that aren't aware, the Under-19 Men's Basketball World Cup took place in Hungary the last two weeks. Now, we here in Central Iowa likely wouldn't have cared about this tournament at all, except for the fact that Omaha Baloo was repping the red, white, and blue. A cool honor for the Waukee alum and incoming Cyclone freshman. Team USA went 5-2 and two in the tournament, finishing in fourth place, no medal lost in the semis to France, and then in the third place game to Turkey. Yeah, you heard correctly, Turkey. And so I repeat, what the heck is going on with USA basketball? Well, two things are clear. On a global scale, many countries have caught up to the United States, and many of those countries just flat out care more. Now, was this the best U19 team the US could have rolled out? Probably not. But this team had players from Villanova, Tennessee, Iowa State, Arizona, Purdue, Oklahoma State, and so on, plus four of the top high school recruits for next year. Talent and athleticism will always let the United States hammer some of the lesser countries. That's just a fact. But the reality is, team basketball is eroding in lower levels across the U.S. Style of play has turned into a lot of one-on-one, -on -one, Twitter highlight reels, all about impressing scouts on an individual level. Team USA has twice as much talent as Turkey. They should not lose by 14 ever. But somewhere along the way, the concept of team basketball has been lost. Turkey had 22 assists on 26 made shots. The US, nine assists on the same amount of made shots. Turkey didn't even play very good, but made 10 more free throws and committed 10 less turnovers. Ball game. The United States will always be a top dog in basketball on a world scale, but the gap is closing. The door may even be shut. Tyrese Halliburton and 11 other NBA players are heading to the FIBA World Cup in the Philippines at the end of August, hopefully with better results to show.